everybody, we are in Collins, Mississippi. Mississippi. And we are happy to be here. We've seen some interesting sights on our journey so far. Very country. Uh huh. Very southern. Yep. Very primitive southern. Yes. There's definitely some roadside attractions out here. We're about to, we're on Highway 49 heading south. And uh, we're going to pass 84. And go into the town of Collins. What is on top of that track? That's weird. I've never seen anything like it. Uh -huh. Look at how much chunk there is by the side of the road. I water. see the sign of where we're heading to. Yeah, but we're going to go past that. We're going to go past this one more time. It's like a old, we're, we're going to go like a, over a big old pass here. There's like a big lumber yard here. Wow, that's a lot of lumber. Oh, they actually make plywood and wood there. Look at that. Hmm. Cool. They actually make like wood there. That's a lot of wood. We're going to go through the overpass. That's an old church. It's called, uh, it's a Baptist church. It's really old. Fruit stand, baby. And it's open. Yeah, it's a Sunday. Over here is a gun and pond. H&R bought it. <laughs> An old Fast Mart gas station. That thing looks so outdated. Here, right? Yep, keep going. Keep going straight. Okay. And what you're going to see is up ahead, uh, there's going to be another overpass. Mm -hmm. And then that overpass, you're going to get off and go... 184, you're going to go into downtown Collins, which will be to the left, but you have to get off on the right because it's an overpass. So you're going in that direction at the next overpass. But you, you might have to get off on the right. you got to get off on the right, so stay in the center. Okay. Mom says, how are you? up ahead it's got a nice little district we're gonna see most of it here mm -hmm. I'm just gonna drive through it actually and then get back on 84 mom says cool I love them Ben and Aaron mm -hmm. 
Nice. Lots of trucks here. So this town, let me see what I can look up about it. You have, you have safari. Collins, Mississippi. We're going women drive. La Fogata Mexican. Lots of Mexican food. Like four miles. Yeah, lots of Mexican food. Don't get rid of my uh, books. Really though. cute little town. We're in Covington County, Mississippi. Population's only 2,500. That's a lot of Mexican restaurants for a town of less than 3,000. And it's a Sunday, so there's no, there's not going to be any activity. Um, if you want you to take a back road before, you want to take a back road, take a right or a left here. Take a right. Take a right. Use a turn signal. Let those cars know what you're doing. I'm not sure what's making that noise. I think it might be the CD. Let me just bust it out. It's going to... We are about to pass the police department. Whoa. And there's the fire department. Cool. Did we order something on UPS? What is making that noise? Oh, the, the charger makes that Did noise. Did I order something? The charger makes those noises. Yeah. The phone charger. Let's just want to see what the houses look like. Go up ahead. There's some dogs on the road up ahead. Go up to the dogs. Those aren't dogs. What are they? Cats. That big? Yes. Oh, it's a little garbage pile. I wonder if there's anything neat in it. Slow down for the garbage pile. I want to see if there's anything neat in it. I'm throwing stuff out. Gives me a chance to talk to the locals, too. Just slow down and see if there's any antiques in there. Slow down real quick. Anything antique? That looks pretty neat. Slow down, slow down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to like that little wood thing. Let me mm -hmm. check it out. Gives me a chance to talk to them. How y'all doing? Hi. I'm entertaining y'all. <laughs> okay. And he sent my mother the worst possible photo of me. Oh, I think I have to put it in park before it'll let me. Nice. We're an antique gun rack. Oh. Sweet deal, man. All right. Yeah. And I'm still driving. It's an antique gun rack. Yeah. Zero. Here. Houses are real pretty here. Oh. Uh, you got to be in drive. I don't know if you knew that. I did. It doesn't seem like you did. I didn't know that I needed to be in drive to drive. Don't seem like you didn't know that. Take a right turn here. Okay, and here's the old flag. Again, it looks like the flag of France with the rebel flag. Take a right. Yeah. The houses are pretty. Yeah. These Mississippi towns are a lot nicer. See, I can invest into a town like this. Yeah. Where the houses are well kept. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like in Alabama, I like small towns, but I'm not going to invest into a small town if people don't, aren't keeping up on their properties. It seems like here. And you, you can probably get a deal out take here. Take a, a right here. Get back on the main road. Yeah, not only that, but the whole town's well kept. Mm -hmm. In Alabama, people don't keep up anything. They let everything go to crap. I'm not going to invest into a place that's going to crap, you know? Like here, people are actually taking care of their properties. Yeah. It may not appreciate in value, but at least the neighborhood's not going to crap, you know? Yeah, I would live in Mississippi hands down. I know looks, that's actually, probably looks, unpopular with my husband, but yeah. No, it looks better than Alabama. The thing here, like, well, no, it's a three thousand. It's a town of three thousand people. I'm looking at at least seven restaurants. Look, they got a diner over here. They got a Main Street Cafe. They got a Wards. They got uh, La Casita Mexican Popeyes. They, they got four Mexican restaurants for a town of 3,000 people. Yeah, and they have more stuff than Lehigh. Oh, they sure do. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 2,000 people. <laughs> Family restaurants. So if you have at least five or six different restaurants, you got options. You know what I mean? The thing, you can't live in a town where you don't even have two or three restaurants. Mm -hmm. That's horrible, you know? Yeah. Like, you can't compare this to, um, what's that town? Um, 
I'm actually gonna say this is better than Alabama when it comes to small towns. It is. It really is, yeah. All the small towns we've seen have been pretty good. Yeah. You know, you go to those small towns in Alabama, they don't even have a, a, a restaurant or nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, what was it where we were stuck for like a bunch of hours? No, North Florida, too. North Florida, too. Where were we stuck for hours and hours? In North Florida, remember? We had to drive all the way to Dolphin to get something to eat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were stuck for hours. So keep going all the way to the see the highway up there. And on the highway, you're gonna take a, a right hand turn, and that's gonna take you to the place you want to go to. Laurel. Mhm. Mm I mean, I gotta see what they're gonna do to Watonka. So. Yeah, we gotta see a nice pickup truck with the big old wheels. Okatoma Creek. Someone hit a skunk. I can yeah, hit a skunker up. <laughs> yeah, I think somebody did hit a skunk there. You can smell it. And that is eye water and sticky. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Woo! Eye water and stinky. Mm -hmm. You never see skunks, you smell them. Yeah. They're hard to see. I think I've only have I ever seen one. I think one time I seen a skunk. I can't remember where. I used to see him in Michigan for ten times. You and your Michigan. <laughs> We're in Alabama and Mississippi now. We don't talk about. Hey, you're actually in drive this time. What do you think I'd be in fifth gear? Wouldn't be surprised. No, it doesn't have a fifth gear. Okay, he has a third. You that wouldn't even be possible, Katie. Okay? That's. <laughs> I was trying to catch you off guard. <laughs> you weren't. You fell for you fell for your whole trick there. You tricked yourself right there. You go faster, brother. That's a nice and country and pretty. It's beautiful. There's, this a, is... and, and there's actually a big giant lake on the right. It's called Gibson Lake. Dude, for a town of three thousand people, oh, there's a water treatment plant. That's my event when you were small. There's actually lakes up in these woods. This is actually pretty. I love the big pine trees. You could probably go faster than 40 miles an hour. Jose, I'm going 65. Would you like me to go 70? At least. I'm going to go ahead and say it. So far, the small towns we've seen here in Mississippi, at least in this region of Mississippi, seem, oh my gosh, that is like, takes your breath away. That stinks, man. It is. Maybe it's coming. Places you sure don't hang out with him when he's over. I Mitchell do. Farms. All right, we can call that video. I take him to the store. I take him everywhere he wants to go. You forget I'm his chauffeur, and he doesn't want to do anything. All right, guys, thank you for joining yeah. with us. That's Collins, Mississippi. 
Hope you guys liked the video. And we're out.